Why is ketchup so difficult to pour? No problem. Just use a tomato. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup, as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. Hmm. Why does my foot fall asleep? Don't worry, I will wake it up. Oh, chum pum. Nerves are like cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. Now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. As a result, the connection between our brain and our foot is cut off. Hence, it feels like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by using their sixth sense. Oh, chum pum. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm. Why are we afraid of the dark? Chum Pum is not afraid. Chum Pum loves ghosts. Oh, Chum Pum. In prehistoric times, especially at night, our ancestors were at high risk of being attacked by predators or enemies. Hence, through evolution, the tendency to fear darkness developed in us. Also, as we cannot see properly in the dark, we become anxious and start to imagine the worst possible outcomes. Hence, we are afraid of the dark. Hmm. Does it rain diamonds huh? on Jupiter and Saturn? <laughs> yes, and Chum Pum is going to catch all of them. Oh, Chum Pum. Scientists believe that it can actually rain diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Hmm. These planets have methane-rich atmospheres. During storms, lightning turns methane present huh? in clouds into soot. As soot begins to fall, it is subjected to intense temperatures and pressures. These conditions squeeze the soot into chunks of graphite. As the pressure increases, graphite is compressed, making it literally rain diamonds. Hmm. What is sleep paralysis? Simple. This is sleep paralysis. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Sleep paralysis usually occurs when we are dreaming in a REM sleep, as in rapid eye movement sleep. Researchers suggest that when we enter REM sleep, two chemicals, uh -huh. as in GABA and glycine, switch off the activity of our cells. This is done to stop us from enacting our dreams and getting hurt. Uh -huh. hmm. Now, if we suddenly wake up during the REM sleep, but if GABA and glycine are still active, then even though we are conscious, we are temporarily unable to move. This is called as sleep paralysis. Hmm. Why do we dream? Simple. Because Chum Pum is a superhero in all the dreams. Oh, Chum Pum. One theory suggests that we dream to fulfill our wishes. It states that we are not able to express all our thoughts consciously. Hence, some of them find their way via dreams. Another theory called threat stimulation suggests that dreams are basically a defense mechanism. For example, nightmares put us in threatening situations, thus allowing us to practice our fight-or-flight response. Some people also believe that dreams don't really mean anything. Hmm. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any huh? visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc. 
which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. What are headaches? No idea. But Chum Pum can give a headache to anybody. Oh, Chum Pum. The pain that we sometimes experience in our upper neck or head is commonly called a headache. Headache is not an indication of our brain hurting. In fact, the brain does not have any pain receptors to experience pain. Headaches are commonly caused due to inflammation or overactivity of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels in our head or neck. Migraine is a common example of this type of headache. Hmm. How do we puke? No idea. Chum Pum never pukes. Huh? Oh, Chum Pum. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. Why do humans huh? have so many moles? Simple, because I invented them. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus huh? forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. Huh? They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. <laughs> hmm. Does an octopus have nine brains? Yes, but it doesn't use any of them. Huh? Oh, chum pum! An octopus has a decentralized nervous system with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, and huh? control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. Why do humans huh? love music? Because Chum Pum is the best musician ever. Oh, Chum Pum. When sound vibrations are produced in specific and intricate patterns, it is known as music. Some researchers found out that we love music because of a neurotransmitter called dopamine. For example, when we eat tasty food, the reward system in our brain is activated and dopamine is released. Dopamine basically <laughs> makes us feel good. Similarly, when we listen to music, the same dopamine is released, thus making us love listening to music. Hmm.